Howdy everybody, it's Amy with Amy Sparkly Diamond Painting and I thought I would try a February month in review and I'd first like to say thank you to all my new subscribers out there. I'm always amazed when I look at all the the views and subscribers that are building up on my channel and I do appreciate it. And if you are new here, welcome in and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if this is something that you think you would like. And let's start. So February, I was a bit concerned early on in the month because I didn't seem to be getting anywhere with anything. And I do have some finishes to show for the month, but this is a small month, so only by one day really, but hey, we'll call it a small month. Uh, so this was the month of small diamond paintings. So first off, I'll start with my uh, February little monthly uh, cup diamond painting. I was trying to figure out what this yellow drink could be. I don't know if that's whipped cream or not, but this was the February month and I had some Valentine washi tape, so that is what I surrounded here with. This was pretty easy and the kit has 26 colors. I don't think all of them were used in this one, just a subset of them. But I got the whole set of months, so this is how I plan on starting every month here for this year. But this was a fun little one, just took me a couple days. It's um, probably about a 20 by 20, it's pretty little. But uh, it was a nice little one to just kind of chill and do for a couple days. And this is around, and I got the whole set off of T-Moves. So we'll start there. Next, we'll look at some paint gem minis. This was the um, paint gem event hosted by um, Debbie and um, I believe Angie may have been involved as well. And so I did the space set for this. And there are 10 of these. So it comes out to maybe a small diamond painting. So the each of these, the diamond area is a three by three. So that makes it nine by nine. If you do it this way, plus a little extra one here. And so kind of a, a smaller amount there. I was a little bit worried about these with all the black background. That's why I didn't buy this set early on. But when I got that other uh, Diamond Art Club planets, <coughs> oh, somebody's walking by. When I got the planets one, I thought, you know, it would be cool to have the space ones to go along with that. So that's what I did here. And there is indeed a lot of darker colors in black. It wasn't all just black. There were some really dark blues in there and dark browns. But there was a little bit of trash with the black. So indeed... I did get a little frustrated at times trying to do all the black backgrounds, especially this one. This was probably my least favorite and I saved it for last because it was mostly black with just a little bit of sparkle added there. But all in all, it was a fun set. I am happy with the results. And that was my paint gem minis for the month. So this was the first space set. And I do have a review or an unboxing of this and the other space set on my channel from earlier this month. So what's next? Well, I did another little one here. I did an unboxing for this one with some uh, Timu stuff. This was a small purse with a little fringe zipper there. Very handy little purse and the diamonds are stuck on really well. And this was a fun one because of the special diamonds and everything. I think I did this one in one evening, but it was a nice relaxing project and I do like the results. I'm not sure how well this purse will hold up over time, but it was a cute and easy project and I did enjoy this one. So that's the purse. What do we have next? Um, we'll take this, no, we'll go for this one next. So this was another simple project with special diamonds. Some nights I just feel like 
doing these. It's a little wrinkly. I haven't tried to flatten it out yet. I'll probably iron it a little bit. But this one uh, is a partial. And it was another Timu. But I like kind of the, the dark colors on the backgrounds that really make the butterflies and flowers stand out. So I did enjoy this one. Probably, oh, two nights maybe to do this one. So let me zoom in there real close. Can see all the sparkles. So I do like butterflies and that one was kind of fun. Next, we'll look at some coasters. So first off, we have one of the set of six I got from Timu. I did show these on a Timu haul unboxing. And this one has a lot of sparkly flowers on there. And this was another quick and easy project. Um, trying to figure out what to do. I'll probably stain the wood, maybe. And I did not seal this one yet. I'll probably do all six at once and maybe do something there around the edges in the back. And I will seal it probably with the polyacrylic or some sort of sealant to keep the diamonds stuck. And then to keep with my Van Gogh theme, I did this first uh, coaster for Van Gogh for the set that I have. And there's a reason I picked this particular one. I did seal this one with Mod Podge and it came out really sparkly, especially after I sealed it. So that is the Cypress Trees there and I use this as I'm diamond painting to hold my drink and I did enjoy that one. So speaking of Van Gogh, I did do a finish and review video for for these. Uh, this first one I did, this was a cross stitch conversion from a mini cross stitch pattern that I got on Etsy and this was really fun and then I kind of wrapped the edges with some Van Gogh washi tape that I had. So this was a Van Gogh self-portrait and I did do a review video of this as well as this together. So this is the Plains of Orvison and this was an Amazon diamond painting kit and this was a round and it was a 30 by 40. And again, I use washi tape on each end that was in my Van Gogh washi tape set. And I just mounted it on a really cheap uh, art canvas from Walmart. So this one was fun, pretty sparkly, and it had enough different colors and confetti to, to make it interesting. And I did do an unboxing, or not an unboxing, I did a, a review of this one. So I won't talk about it too much on this but if you want to see more details about this one you can check it out on my other video so i decided when i showed this cross stitch conversion here that i might do a video explanation of how i do smaller cross stitch conversions so you'll find that in my february review or in my february set of videos and that's what took a lot of time this month. So this was the one that I used to show how I do smaller cross stitch conversions. And this was the end result. I did not show the end result yet. I just showed uh, the setup of doing this project. And this is the end result. So this was a set of 63 National Park uh, cross stitch patterns that I got on Etsy and this was the first one I picked because I am a big fan of Big Bend. Been there several times and this came out to just about 20 by 20 inches and you can see all the details of how I did this on another video on my channel. Here's the back. So this was a blank canvas piece that I cut out from a bigger piece that I bought on Amazon and the diamonds are squares and they came from Art Dot. So they are the, the acrylic squares. I bought several sets of the full colors so that I'd have enough for all the different parks or whatever cross stitch conversions that I feel like doing. I did enjoy this. Uh, it was especially fun for not thinking too much 
because I would outline, I would follow the chart and outline a certain color area and then just fill it in without having to worry too much about the details of the chart. The cactus took a little more thinking in this area as well where there was a little more, not really confetti, but a little more uh, different colors in the area. But the sky was all one or two colors there, so pretty simple to do. So I did enjoy this. I did enjoy uh, the result. Now this one did, the pattern had back stitching on the cactus and I thought I would try to see if I could do some back stitching with brown thread through this and it wasn't working too well. And then I got a sharpie out and I was going to try to draw a few lines but that wasn't working too well either. So one thing to keep in mind if you are picking a cross stitch conversion pattern watch out for any back stitching because those details won't be on there. But still you can tell it's a a prickly pear cactus. So that was my Big Ben cross stitch conversion. And then finally, for finishes, I do have one large finish. I had shown this in my works in progress for the, the year, and I've been trying to go through at least one of my bigger whips each month. And this is the one that I figured had the best chance of getting done. This is a Dreamer Designs Autumn's Gift, and I did not do a post review. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit for you guys so you can see most of it there. There you go. So this is Autumn's Gift. The artist here was Anne-Marie Bone or Bonet, possibly, and it was licensed from Dreamer Designs, 80 by 60 centimeters, and I love the colors and the details on this one. This one really was a lot of fun because you had all the confetti down here with all the different color changes with the flowers, and then you had kind of a easier middle area. Uh -oh. hope that diamond didn't fall off of here, but you had the easier uh, horizontal stripes of the water and then you had the blotchy trees here which wasn't quite confetti but it was still a little more interesting so the part that I think was probably the longest dragging one was this area here a lot of ABs in there which sometimes ABs can be a little tricky to put down but I got through that it wasn't just one color there are several colors in there it just wasn't as bright and colorful. Feels like there's a bead there that needs to be pushed down. So this was my one big finish for the month. Autumn's Gift by Dreamer Designs. And I had plenty of diamonds for this one, plenty left over, and lots of lots of ABs, really sparkly. So thumbs up on this one. So now let's talk about what I managed to do as far as whips this month. I'll try to, ew, I don't want to put in this one too much. Um, ugh, there we go. I need to make some room here real quick. So I'm going to step away for a second and move some of these over because I do have some whips. And this is my first one. This is the reason I picked that particular coaster for the Van Gogh art. I went searching in the garage for some of my older diamond paintings from four, five, six years ago. And I forgot I had this one. And it was partially done. I had done the corner of it. And that's it. And it sat for a few years in our sunroom, which is not really climate controlled. It gets to be over 100 degrees in the summer and really cold in the winter and I wasn't sure how well the sticky held up but it held up perfectly so I thought you know I should finish this so this is wheat fields from diamond dots and it is a Van Gogh so this is design size is 51 by 39 centimeters and it is 30 colors and I did get it a little more than halfway done but I actually did find this one a little boring. <laughs> it is around, um, not squares, and I do prefer squares. Now the sky was kind of fun, lots of different colors, but down here with all that yellow, that kind of dragged me down a little bit. But I did get through most of that, so what I have left is mostly the sky. 
but no ABs with diamond dots, but still their diamonds are very sparkly. So I hope to get this one finished next month. And so that is wheat fields. So most recently this month, I posted a couple videos related to this one. This was a Timu purchase. And this one I believe was called Flower Elf and it was from the company AB Diamond Art. Oops, dropped my little description there. And the canvas was really, looked like it was really confusing and hard to see the picture in there. So I wanted to show and talk about rendering a little bit. So there's another video where I do that. I won't go into detail here, but here's what I got done so far. And there are, there are some ABs in here, about five ABs. And this is flowers with little fairies that are kind of hard to make out. But you can definitely see the face there pretty clear with the fairy. This is a square. And it is 45 by 65. So it's been fun because of all the confetti. And I love watercolor look like this. It does have kind of hints or reminders to me of Josephine Wall paintings. So I am really enjoying this one, which is why I wasn't planning on doing it, but I thought I'd do a little couple little sections to show you how this canvas was looking. And then I just kept going. So I went ahead and kitted this one up and we'll see if we can get that one done soon. What else do we have over here? Oh, let me see. So this was the one I kitted up from the five diamond paintings that I posted for everybody to vote which one I should do next. This is Diamond Art Club and this is Penguin Harmony. This was one of their Black Friday ones. This is a big one, 70 by 94 centimeters. And I did get a few sections done here on this row, but um, I'm going slower on this one because I found the canvas on the edges hard to read. I'm hoping once I get done with some of the background, it'll be a little bit easier for me to read. But I found in the, the background colors, there were a lot of symbols that had white on light backgrounds. You can see some of that here, and especially up through here. And I found it actually pretty hard for my eyes to read. Now, I do have trouble with contrast vision. Oops. Bless you, hubby. So, <laughs> we'll sneeze there. So it wouldn't probably be that way for most of you, but for me with my eyesight, I was finding it a little bit difficult. I can do it, I can see it. It just takes a little more patience and sometimes I have to stop and turn off my light pad and take a photo with my phone and kind of zoom in to see some of the symbols because some of them are somewhat similar right next to each other. But I'm getting there. So I will continue to work on this one so I can start some of my other ones because it was a little bit more of a purchasing month than I ended in, intended. But I'll talk about that in a couple other videos. So what else did I work on this month that's not finished? Um, we'll talk about this one. I did do, whoops, trying to make a mess here. There we go. This is my Josephine Wall. I did do a whip and chat. This was my Diamond Painting Deutschland Josephine Wall. So this is the Three Graces. And I worked on the top a little bit here. Not a whole lot done on this one, but I at least did some of it and worked on cleaning up the canvas a little bit and cutting some of the, the rivers from when it had been rolled up and all that. So we'll get more going on this. I don't know if any of you are joining in on the Josephine Wall event coming up in April and May. That's uh, There is a Facebook group just for that. That is uh, put on by Debbie and Angie. Again, I seem to catch all of their events. So... Uh, Take a look at that if you're interested in Josephine Wall and that event coming up. You do need a licensed Josephine Wall for that, but you do not have to have a new start. So if you have one already going, you can join in on that event. 
and they do have already a discount code for the one with the diamond art which is where I got my other very large one and I'm not going to show that one this time because I'm going to do a separate video for that and show you the update for that here probably in the next few days because I do want to work on it a little bit but there's that one let's see what else we have here So this is a spoiler warning. If you don't want to see a mystery kit from Diamond Art Club, this is one I've shown in a previous video, but if you don't want to see the mystery kit, uh, this is, let's see if I can find the number for the mystery kit. This was Nature and Ocean, and oh, it doesn't say the number on it here I'm trying to see yes it does mystery kit 31 now I typically go to the mystery spoiler Facebook group before I buy any mystery kits because I don't want to be completely surprised and pay a lot of money for something I don't like so I do know what this one is but it's still been pretty fun because I got the general idea of what it is but the details really come out of that white canvas as you work on it so this is your last warning Spoiler warning for Mystery Kit 31 from Diamond Art Club. And this is an ocean scene here. And I did get a little bit more done on this one, mostly in this area. And this is the black and white canvas. So you can't really tell what it is, but if you look at it closely, you can kind of see what it, what's going on there. So this turtle completely surprised me when I was working on that before, the way it just kind of popped out and there's a little eel there and all these little critters. Well, this time what popped out was this really nice coral and it looks like something big over here with a flipper and part of a body there. So we'll see what comes out of that corner as I work on this one more. And this is a really fun one. I enjoy this one just makes me smile every time I pull it out. So I will probably be doing more of that one this month and see if we can get closer so we can start our next mystery kit. And that, almost there. So this was another of my whips that I got a bit, little bit closer. This one I should be able to finish at the end of the month. This was from Crystal, Crystal Canvas Art Designs. This is a licensed artwork and it is a puppy with rainbows and this is all crystals. First time I've ever done an, an all crystal kit. So it's really shiny, really sparkly. And the puppy dog is starting to come through here. Now they have a couple more big sections there with more rainbows coming up. Really cute eyes and some clouds and swirls and all the fun stuff. So this is a round. The artist is Natalia Zagori. There, let me fix my. Didn't notice the camera got hit there. There we go. Zoom back in a little bit. So, that is another whip that I worked on the top part, but that one should be done for next month. So, I believe. That's all I have for um, what I've been working on this past month. And I do have some goals for the next month. And this is one of the goals that I have set for next month. This is a mystery painting that I ordered from Jaded Gem Shop. And this is an old master's painting. And I let her just pick something for me. And that's what she did here. Now I do have an idea because I have to peek. So I did not at first know which one this was, but after I got enough done where I could see that this was bricks, I had to go back to the website and take a peek. So I do know in a general sense what this is, but I want to finish this one because I want to have it done before summer with the masters so I can move on to another masters painting so this one's kind of fun pretty easy again that black and white 
canvas. I think my eyes just like the black and white better, and that's why I seem to have several of those with the mystery kits. So this came with the black plastic, so if you order from Jada Gem Shop and try one of the mystery kits, she'll pick something for you. You can give themes, ideas, you can share your wish list, and she'll pick one, and it'll come covered in black so you can't tell what it is when you get it. So this one is, let's see, is the size on here? It is not, but it is a decently large size there. So that's one of my goals, as well as finishing some of those other smaller ones. And I'll probably work on my uh, Moon Goddess from Diamond Art Club. That one's about a third of the way done. And I didn't show that one here. So that's what I have for February. I hope you enjoyed the quick monthly review. And I'll be back with some unboxings because I did do a little bit of purchasing uh, this month. And I have a couple boxes that are sitting there waiting for me to open and show you what I have. So thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit the like or subscribe buttons if you like my content. It really does help with the algorithms and all that good stuff. And I appreciate you taking the time out to watch my channel. And I'll see what I can come up with for next month.